coming out. Hey, y'all. Number one I'm gospel good. artist in America, right here. <laughs> there are certain moments in life that simply take your breath away. You know, coming home and getting off the plane and seeing my family there, my mayor, and being celebrated like that just really is indescribable. So many people tell stories about how they left home because there was no honor, no love. And, the world loved them more than their home. Even Jesus dealt with this. The text says that a prophet without, is without honor in his own hometown. Yeah, for my hometown to love me and honor me and celebrate me the way they did meant the world to me. I mean this, man. My boys were there. My baby girl was there. Wifey, my dad, my mom. They gave me a day. I'll never forget this moment, man. God, you really did it. All right, everybody, y'all give it up for PMJ and Pastor Mike. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Look, I'm going to jump right in because this is a moment for us to pause and celebrate uh, a son, a brother, a father, a husband, the home team. You know, too often we wait too late to celebrate our trailblazers. Or sometimes we let others do the celebrating for us. However, I believe in the importance of giving praise when praise is due. And so today, my brother PMJ, we're here to give you the praise you deserve. So Birmingham is so very proud for you and your incredible win at the Stellar Awards this past weekend. So everybody check it out. PMJ won Artist of the Year. He also won Urban Inspirational Singer of the Year for his hit song, I Got It. And Rap Hip Hop Gospel Album of the Year for Big Freedom Sessions. So y'all should know that's not even counting the two awards he won last year. But I think it's really, really important that we're just not celebrating accolades and trophies, everybody. This is about wrapping our arms around a brother and a son who has done so much for his community, who stands strong in his faith, and who continues to introduce the word of God to so many around the world. Your ministry is powerful, your heart is big, and your servant leadership is aspirational. So today, my brother, we all know the song, I got it. But we're here to remind you right here, right now, we got you. So, as I close out for a brief minute, Birmingham stands with you. We're proud of you. And I now want to call Pastor Michael Clore Sr. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Amen. Wow. Um, I don't know what to say. I'm very, not very often I'm lost for words, but I'm just extremely excited and proud of my son. Uh, his mother and I, Lady Angela and I, um, this is no surprise to us because Mike started winning 
be in life at birth. Uh, he came into the world winning. He came into the world saying, I got it. <laughs> and I'm serious about that. And we're just so proud. He and his wife, Jaquita, uh, and his wonderful family, they're just jewels to our family, to the city, to Rock City, and to everybody. And I want to say, Mike, I love you, man. I'm so grateful uh, that you took my name and it made it big. <laughs> so God bless your son. Welcome home and congratulations. I got past somebody looking like, so what's next? <laughs> what's next is the city, as a city, we want to produce and present to you this plot to make sure you have to come up and say whatever you want, brother. Okay? So I'm not going to read it in its entirety, but it states, whereas the city of Birmingham joins the McClure family and the Rock City Church congregation in congratulating Pastor Mike, Michael Dwayne McClure Jr. on winning three stellar awards on July 10th. 2021 in Nashville, and whereas Pastor Mike McClure, affectionately known as PMJ, once said that he wanted his music to lead people. He saw that happen in a big way in 2020, when he won two stellar awards during the Stellar Gospel Music Awards. He secured Best New Artist and Rap Hip Hop Gospel Album of the Year for his album Live Free. His album Live Free featured the hit single, Big. And whereas Pastor McClure used proceeds from Big to help people in Birmingham, paying off nearly 900,000 in medical debt for 500, y'all, 542 families. <laughs> he and his church members also fed the hungry and distributed thousands of masks during the pandemic. And whereas Pastor McClure continued to find success in 2021, with new projects during the July 10, 2021 Stellar Gospel Awards. He was named Artist of the Year. He also won Urban Inspirational Single or Performance of the Year for I Got It. And he won the Rap Hip Hop Gospel Album of the Year for Big Freedom Sessions. I Got It has garnered more than 3 million, more than 3 million views on YouTube. and was number one on the Billboard Gospel Airplane chart in March of 2021. And whereas Pastor McClure's music, just like his sermons, just like his public outreach, has a way of impacting the masses. On July 24th, he will be the headliner for the city's Freedom Fest. <laughs> Birmingham's annual celebration of music and empowerment. And now, therefore, I, Randall L. Woodson, Mayor of the City of Birmingham, of Alabama, do hereby proclaim July 13th. July 13th, 2021, Pastor Michael DeWayne and Floyd Jr. Day. Yeah! Yes, Lord! PMJ! Oh, PMJ, Jay! PMJ, Jay! Hi, man, right? <laughs> In the city of Birmingham, and I want to encourage the residents of Birmingham, Alabama to rise to the occasion and salute the impact of this upstanding citizen has made on his family, his church, and his community. Thank you, so much for honoring me. Uh, you and my father. It means a lot to me being a father now. Um, for my boys to see that, you know, they can have an example. Uh, and I pray that they can see serving God and helping people pay. So to my wife, I love you so much um, for all that you do and all that you mean to me. We've come a long way from... Give it up for Lady Church! Yeah, give it up for a long way from that Wendy's, that Wendy's dinner. So I'm excited yeah. about that. And to my baby girl, I love you. To Rock City Church, just thank y'all for loving me and supporting me and always having my back. To the city that I love, I mean it. I'm going to always do all I can to love this city, honor this city, and lift this city up. Uh, I'm speechless. I'm going to be honest with you. It takes a lot for me to be speechless, but I'm just, I just can't stop smiling. Right? I just can't, can't stop smiling. Um, I do, I do want to take a minute to honor uh, Kurt. Throw your hand up. That's who helped me with the entire project. <laughs> And um, I know I said, come here, Amanda. I want, come here, Amanda. I want everybody to see Amanda. Me and, 
Curtis and I get a whole lot of credit, but a lot of the vocals that you hear in the background, that's Amanda. So I just want to tell Amanda, thank you for all that you're doing. And I'm just excited and I love y'all so much. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart, thank y'all so much. And make sure you go ahead and mark your calendars. Freedom Fest is about to be off the chains this year. We're headlines. Thank you, Mayor, for allowing me to do that. I love y'all. God, God bless you. Hell is up. I'm artist of the year now. I just can't be singing for free I don't feel no waste time. Come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy. And I don't believe he brought us this far to leave me. I just want to be free. <laughs> A couple questions. Okay, back. okay. Uh, I've always wanted to do this. Uh, I'm gonna be Rick for a second. Uh, you, you. That's how Rick does it. You, you, you. Fox Six. It's humbling, man. Everything that happened for me musically happened in a pandemic. You know, my song went number one when the pandemic started, the second number one went number one at the end of the pandemic, and I was somewhat confused. I was like, God, I've always prayed for this. And the moment I get it, I can't even go around people. And what I heard the Lord say to me was, I gave you everything you prayed for without the people to praise you for it, to make sure your motives were in check. So man, it just means a lot to me. I mean this from the bottom of my heart. And just to celebrate it with the people who matter the most. So I'm, I'm just excited. I mean this. I, I just performed on the Stella Awards um, a, a week before that. It's Get Ready to Air. We performed on the McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour. And all of that is incredible, but it pales in comparison to be headlining Freedom Fest. Because if you just know me from the bottom of my heart, I just love my city. Uh, even when you sit on BT, I gave a huge shout out to our city, man. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm excited. You know, I, I just want to go to your mama's. That's all I want to do. Is, uh, instead of going to Disney World, we're going to your mama's. I'm just ready. When this song was done, you were done with it. I'm sure you listened to it. Did you know you would be receiving we knew instantly. So the history behind the song is I just randomly sung it at the Bowell. Like we were in church and I just said, and it's going to be big. When it comes to I got it, we were in Bible study and I just said, I got it, I got it. And the blessing of having a good team is Curtis and the team went in and they started putting stuff to it and trying to figure out how we can make it work. And when we heard the finished product, I think we all looked at each other and was like, I think this is going to be special. I, I can't say I saw all this, but I knew it was going to be special. Yes, sir. CBS 42. <laughs> Am I doing good, Rick? Am I doing good, Rick? When you came down the stairs and you saw this, what went through your mind? Gratefulness. Um, so many times leaders, and I'm sure our mayor can appreciate this, we help so many people, but you also sometimes feel so insecure. That the, do people love what I do or do they love who you are? And to come down the steps and see everybody, it was just an affirming moment that what you're doing is not in vain, and there are people who just really love you and support you, and it just means so much to me. So I mean, when I got off the plane, I saw this when I came. When I got off the plane, I saw my kids. So the first thing I thought was, who paid for them tickets? <laughs> and then I saw the mayor. I was like, okay, we good, we good, we good. But no, I'm excited, man. I'm super excited. W, thirteen. <laughs> Yeah, I mean this man, my father's my hero. I stand on his shoulders. Everything I am, everything I ever will be in life, number one is because of God, but then it's because of my parents, you know? I preach like my daddy, I sing like my mama, you know, and they just raised me in God. And I'm grateful now that when it was time to run the streets, they would make me go to Bible study. Or uh, when it was time to go out in the world, I had uncles like Bishop Theo Bailey who would always just speak into my life and do great things, man. So it's just, it's a blessing and I pray my boys you know, because there's so much happening with young black boys right now. So my heart, my number one assignment in life right now is just raising them to be all that God called them to be. So I hope they can see, man, like, after all, daddy was kind of cool, man. Serving God and, and certain loving people pays off after a while. Yep. That's it. Last question. God bless you. Thank you guys so much.